Good morning, good morning, everybody. How are you guys today? It is happy Sunday. Yes, it is. Oh, it's just in time. I could probably go to church at eight o'clock. But anyways, um, what I'd like to do is um, I, it's going to be happy hour today. I am not going to say anything about um, if anybody has emailed me. Nobody has emailed me. Nobody has said anything about my bags. Nobody has, you know, took a ruler out. Everybody is really pleased with them, and I really ex am excited that you guys are happy with it. And I watched something this morning. Um, it was totally off the wall. It was kind of like something to do with decorating or something. He was an engineer, and um, or he was a designer. And I really was inspired by some of the things he had said about how he likes to be at home because so many people stay at home now and do things and that's the way I feel about us. We do a lot of things at home. We stitch at home, we sew at home, we communicate at home, we eat at home because we're so used to that with the, you know, with the COVID. And um, so we're used to being home and we're trying to make our homes as pleasant as possible. And he was talking about how positive energy and, you know, making a better human experience when you're at home. And that's the way I feel when I'm stitching and sewing and making bags. And like I've said before, when I make these bags, I wonder what what pattern is going to go in those bags. And, you know, I wish you guys would um, put some stuff in my Facebook group. You know, here I got this bag and I'm going to use it. I'm going to use this pattern for this bag. You know, I, I love to see what goes into a, a pattern into the bag. I like to see what goes on. I just, I, I always feel a little, you know, I feel like that's personable and I really love my bags and I re really like, you know, um, a, you know, um, make you feel good when you see those bags and you, when you pull out the bag and go, you know, I'm going to do this today. And, you know, Minnie makes me feel really good. I love Minnie. You know, I was in Disney a couple weeks ago and I had such, so much fun. Um, I had a positive experience when I was in Disney. So, you know, feel good um, and just feel alive. Positive feelings, you know. I mean, this is the moment to be alive and say, you know what? I'm alive and I am, I am, I'm feeling positive. I'm feeling great about myself. And, you know, let's, 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 you know, when you start feeling good about yourself, you know, it makes other people feel good. So that's the way I felt when I watched, when I watched this guy, I don't, I don't remember what show it was. It was early this morning. I was still stitching. I was doing some Seuss Bargo stuff. You know, I love my Seuss Bargo. Um, <clears throat> I got some stuff I want to um, make with my Seuss Bargo. I'm going to start showing my Seuss Bargo more and more. I have, um, I have, uh, I'm working on tinsel. I'm working on, um, salad days. I cross stitch. I sew bags. You know, I feel like my, my life is, um, is surrounded by my positive um, um, things that I do and they make me feel good. They make me a better human. So anyways, on that note, it's been three and a half minutes. I've been talking about, you know, blah, 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 about positive feelings. So let's, let's be positive today and, and look at the bright side of things and, you know, um, live in the now, you know, God, it's, it's a beautiful day. It It's going to be a little humid today. So, <clears throat> excuse me. It's going to be a little humid today. I might go outside and do a little walking around and looking at the birds and the pond and just, you know, enjoying life, right? Um, it's all good, you know. Um, let's see, what else did he say? Um, just a positive spirit. I love that he said that. That was a positive spirit. Um, I'm thinking, God, that's really a cool idea, you know, a positive spirit. Surround yourself with positive things rather than always negative things. And I know that this world can be kind of negative and I know it can be bad, but you know what? There's a lot of good things in life too. So um, on that note, I'm going to show you some really fun, cool things that I have done that made me feel good this week. Okay. So I am working on, if you guys are lit, um, have been watching my Instagram and my, um, <clears throat> and my um, Facebook group, I am doing this heart and hand um, stitch along. Now, okay, so this stitch along, I started a couple, couple, I started last week. I started the week of August 17th and I'm done with two weeks. I'm on week one and two. So if you guys want to stitch along with me, come to my Facebook group and I'm doing, this is week one, week two, week three, week four. I, I figure I can get it done in three, in seven weeks and that will take me up to September 20th. So that'll give me plenty of enough time to either finish it in a drum or a flat fold, put it in a frame, um, 
I might, who knows? I, you know, I, I found, I, somebody told me some really cool things. I have a washboard, an old washboard. I might put them in the washboard. I saw somebody do that. I can't remember who it was. Um, I thought that was really, really cool to put on a washboard and then put magnets behind it and then I can change it out. Wouldn't that be cool? And I have one of those really cool ones that um, my grandmother had. She had the one with the glass, um, the glass, um, you know, front. So I might use that. I thought that was really, really cool. So I'm doing all of them. All of, I'm going to try and do all of them um, because I've been, I've been collecting them in this bag. Um, here is what my first two weeks look like. So... Here they are. This is the first two weeks. Here, I'm going to put it this way. Those are the first two weeks. You still have time to join me. Or if you want to come and do the next one, which I'm going to start in early September, and that will be the thankful one. Um, that one just came out. Um, she just put that out, heart and hand, just put that one out. So I plan on doing that one. So that's that. And I have them, all of my threads are all organized. And I have my thread drops from um, from Karen, and I'll put her um, I'll put her um, her um, her Etsy shop. I'll link that below so you can get some of these really cool thread drops. I love her thread drops. She is amazing with them. She puts the two holes in them. This one's not done properly, but I I do them. I as as I take them off, I put them on. Um, this one is done. I love this one. Look at this. It just matches perfect with. Uh, my old maid pal. So anyway, so this is what I'm doing. This is, I'm doing um, the Halloween town. The next one I'd like to do, like I said, is thankful. And that one, I don't have that pattern yet, but I will be mapping that out and I will have it on my Facebook group. Um, if you want to join me, I'll probably, I might start that like on September 1st or something. Oh, and I'm doing it on Friday night. I forgot to mention that. So um, <clears throat> if you want to use the hashtag, uh, DDGD, which is dot dot goose design, uh, Friday night stitching or Friday stitching. So I try to do them on Fridays. Um, my thing, you know, what my thing is, I really like to do. I watch, um, the golden girls. Um, right now it's on Disney plus and, um, I watch the series and there's like a ton of series, you know, there's tons of episodes and I just run them all together and just keep running them, running them. And that's what I watch when I stitch. And that's my Friday night stitch. I listen to, um, the, the golden girls cause they make me laugh. They're so damn funny. Oh my God. That Blanche just cracks me up. Oh my God. Those girls are so funny. But anyways, so eventually I'd like to do the, um, I'd like to do the Christmas one. Um, here is the, um, here's the harvest. And I might do the harvest also. Oh, okay. <laughs> I saw something in the back of this. Look at this. I saw that and I went, oh, oh I got to have that. So I got to find out that, um, that, that Halloween frill. So I can put that on my, um, mm. Oh, I have this. Did you see the little light just went on? Oh my God, that, that washboard would be really cool with that. So anyways, I have all of them in that one bag. So I know exactly where they are. Um, I've done zero. This is my first one I'm doing. So I'm really excited about that. So, oh, and then, excuse me, I have to iron this real quick. I wanted to show you my, um, oops. I want to show you my Away We Ride. And my Away We Ride, sorry, I had to iron it. This is my Away We Ride, and I have to get my little board out because my friend Marianne says there's too much glare. So I got to get my board out. This is my Away We Ride. This is my October, uh, my my dark October stitching. And this is how far I got. Um, I started this in August, uh, beginning of August. Or was it, it was it July. Marianne, I don't remember what day was your birthday. Your birthday was in July. That's right. I started it on Marianne's birthday, and then this is the way we ride. This is how far I got. And I'm only allowed to stitch it on the 13th of the month or the 30th of the month or the 31st of the month. It depends on which, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it depends on if there's a 31st of the month. And I'm doing that one, and that is a way we ride by Blackbird Design. So I started with, and it doesn't, I don't have it all mapped out like I have the other one. Um, it's just something that I'm doing um, with Dark October. I know there's other people who are doing this. Um, tell me who you are, you know, come on, let's have fun. You know, more people, you know, 
again, positive attitude, a positive environment. You know, the more people we have doing this, this array, away we ride, um, just be fun. So I started mine, of course, on the border. Um, I did this part and the border. Um, my friends, I'm doing this with my two friends, Cora and Marianne. They started in the middle with the house. I started on the top and I'm going around to the border and that, excuse me, and then I'll probably do this border and then I'm going to start on the inside just because I love the crows and the cricket house. Oh my gosh, beautiful. I love that cricket house. It's just, there's tons of windows, you know, just fun stuff. Um, okay, so I have this bag and this is the bag I'm using and this is the pal I have for it. So if you want to buy this one, I'm going to, I think I'm going to call it um, crows and pumpkins or something like that. Um, I love, love, love this, um, this one. And then I have my really cool, um, floss drops from my friend, Karen. And look at, it's amazing, right? Okay. So what I have is a way we ride by Blackbird Design. I'm doing it on 36 count suede. Um, I'm doing it on 36 count suede, um, by, I can't, I can't read my own writing. I know it's really hard to see it. So I'm doing it. And then I have a matching bag to go with it. Look at this bag. So this bag is really cool. I love the, the pumpkins have this really, really pretty fabric. And it has some um, uh, spider webs. And of course, my crows, my favorite things, crows. And I will be having this. Um, I'll be having, I'll be having this, um, this fabric. Now this fabric, this fabric right here was really, really hard to find. I was able to find a few yards of it. And um, what I'm going to do is if you see this bag and you want it, you better grab it because I cannot find this fabric. Uh, you might have different inside because um, this is by Fig uh, fig Tree. And um, I have a lot of this orange fabric. It might be a different fabric. It might be, but it's all Fig fig tree and it's all orange or white so it will have this fabric but might have some different designs with it so the inside so don't be upset that you're not getting the same panel but you will get the same um, pumpkin and crows okay so if you want that bag i'll have it on my etsy shop my etsy shop is listed below i'm dot dot goose in case if you guys don't know i'm you know trying to I'm trying to get this in as much as possible in 30 minutes. Then I started a long time ago. I said I was going to do these Blackbird Designs um, uh, socks. And I said I was going to do one a month, blah, blah, blah. I was, I, you know, that just went, that went out the window with all the other Blackbirds, right? Um, but I thought I'm going to take this out. I, I started doing it again. And I'm doing um, this month, I am, or this week. I'm trying, you know, I'm, I don't have really have a goal and I don't, you know, I've thought about doing the wheel, but you know, I'm just kind of just throwing it all together. This is who's knocking at my door. And I have this one. This one's not ironed, but sorry. Here's a way. This is um, who's knocking at the door. That's this one. Look at that little blackbird. Isn't he sweet? I did this, um, I, I, I did this um, for, it took me a few days. Here's my back. If you want to see the back. Because everybody says, I want to see your back. Well, here you go. Here's the back. That's my back. This is my front. Um, and then I also did Eye of Newt, which I think is really cool. Um, I sprayed this with some antique um, spray. Uh, you can't really tell. I'm, I'm not really sure if I like that. I tried starching it. It's not working. Starch isn't working. Nothing's working on this one. So I have all of those socks. I'm doing these socks and then I'm also going to try and find a video on how to put them together. Um, I'm not going to do a video, but I do have a template for it so I can go all the way around with the template. Um, I cut the template out. I've had that for a while. So I'm hanging on to that so I can do my socks and then I can hang them up for Halloween. Um, so, you know, the great pumpkin can leave me candy. I don't know. <laughs> this and that one is in my Hey Boo. If you guys are familiar with Hey Boo, here's Hey Boo. Don't look at this awful mess. When I put the colors together for the Blackbird Design socks, I just threw I threw colors in there thinking I was going to use them. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> so I did do some R&R. &R. R I used R&R &R fabric. That was the, um, one, I don't know, it was on one, one of the socks. But I have it all in this. This is my Hey Boo. Um, so you can use that. 
with your hey boo or with um with your blackbird design i have it in pink i love this fabric i think it's beautiful i think the ghosts are really fun they make me happy again surrounded by things that make you happy and my bags i hope make you happy rather than putting it in a ziploc bag ziploc bag reminds me i have leftovers and i have to eat them <clears throat> so that's what i'm doing there so those are all my whips <clears throat> excuse me and then this is one of my finishes and I did this in, well, also in suede, 36 count. Um, I did, I want to say I did it in one. I'm in one. I remember I, I worked on this at um, in Disney. And I, this was my Olympic stitching. And I used, oops, did you see that? Because um, everybody told me I should use the orange. So I used the orange. Um, I used um, creamsicle. How cool is that? I used the creamsicle. Um, um, by Lady Dot Creates, and I used that. Um, I did sew them on, and I'm not going to take um, total. Um, let's see if I can put it in here. I'm not going to take total um, credit for it because I watched Primrose. Um, how you do um, trim with a with 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 the pom poms. Um, I did watch them. Um, she did, she did the pom-poms. She sewed hers on and I sewed mine on. She had, um, the bigger balls. I have the little small pom-poms. Um, the only thing that I would do differently next time is I would use my zipper foot. So this way I can get closer to the pom-poms. Um, I think that they're sticking out a little bit too much on some spots. Um, I would probably, and I know people say, well, why don't you do it by hand? I, I don't, you know, I want to do it the Denise way. I, I'm busy. I'm busy. I want to get this stuff done, you know? And then I, um, I have this for the backing. Isn't that cute? I love that. And then I put a big, um, wool heart on it. Cause I always take mine, I cut mine in the middle and stuff it. And then I put a little um, charm on it. I still have my charms left. If you guys need some, um, 2024 charms, let me know if you can see it. There's a 2024. I know. I this is funky. This one's funky. Can you see it? That's the 2024 charm. If you need some charms, let me know. When you buy bags, hey, say, Denise, I need a charm. 2024. I even have 2025 now, too. So, I know. I, I'm really, I'm getting there. So, this is my Ye old Crow. And I used um, Oxy and Orange and Green. So, I changed that up love this i think this is really really fun this was a really fun piece to do i love finishing it um i should show you guys what i use for um for batting i don't use the acrylic stuff i have some other stuff next time i'll show you okay so i want to show you some new bags um oh no i have one more thing i want to show you um i am making um, a halloween bag a halloween pillow for my grandsons and i'm doing this i have all my fabric all starched if you guys are familiar with the Lisa Bonjean um, starching method when it comes to uh, sewing and quilting, look at it. It's like, it's almost like paper. The fabric is like paper. It is so, so fun to, to cut, easy to cut. And I plan on doing that for my grandsons. No, I'm not doing pink, but instead of the pink, I bought orange. So I'm going to do the orange. Uh, right here is the pink. I got orange for them instead. I am still going to do use the pink for their for the cheeks, but I'm going to make a couple of those for them. I might do that today. I don't know. Cause that is what I'm doing. I got my, um, I got my, uh, uh, it's by Lala Boutiques. And so is the fabrics, Lala Boutiques. It's the Hey Boo. It's the same, it's the same fabric as this. So I bought a bunch of it. So I'm going to use, I'm going to do the, um, I'm trying to stay out of the glare. I'm going to do these pillows for my grandsons for Halloween. So, anyways, so that is that. Um, uh, da, da, da. It's 20 minutes. Oh, my God. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible because I might still go to church yet. It's still early yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, these are some of my new bags. Um, these are the bags that I make. Um, I have uh, I have some Teresa. I have this one. This is my Teresa Colgate bag. bag. This is um, the Midnight Up on the House Top. This is one of her new fabrics. Look at how cool this fabric is. So, so cool. So if you're doing those um, snowman with the, or the Santas with the sticks on them from her on, uh, on paper, this is an ideal bag 
because some of these um, are my friend Mary Ann had them had them done, and on my Instagram I have them list. I have them showed that you can do the um, Santas, and this would match perfect for that pattern. So you put it, and then there's this one. So get this one. This is really really cool. I love this bag. Get this bag. I'm telling you, get it now because once you see what she's gonna do, you'll be like, oh my god, I gotta get that bag. So get this bag. Um, this is also up on the housetop, cranberry. So sorry if I did a, I did, I'm not doing any sneaky peekies or anything, or, or I'm just telling you, get this bag ASAP right away. This is so cool. So I want to give you a little lowdown on what I do for my bags. I use vinyl in the front. So I have vinyl front and you can see what's inside. Um, it's kind of like Tupperware. I got to see what's inside. I don't want to know. I don't want to open it and go, oh my God, what do I have in there? Oh my God. I, I, or I bought it again by two patterns. Done that because I don't know where they are because I have them in a different type of bag. I was like, damn it. I have that pattern. So if I would have looked at all my stuff, I would have known. So this is, and then I have uh, the big tab zipper. So if you're familiar with the big tab zipper, if you have um, problems finding it in the dark, or if you have a little problems with your hands, these bags are perfect. They slide up and down really nicely. You don't have to dig for those really little itty bitty zippers. You know how that works? And then, you know, then you're suffering. You hurt your fingers. No, these are nice big tab zippers. So that's that one. Here is Old Maid. Remember I showed you the Old Maid um, Pal? This is the Old Maid. This is this one. Love this one. This one um, is really cool. It has pumpkin, um, uh, uh, pumpkin, pumpkins on the back. How cool is that? I know, right? Pin cushions, pumpkin pin cushions. Say that fast, really, three times. Aren't they adorable? Look at how cute they are. Oh my God, I love this. I just love this. Love everything about this bag. Old made. Again, I've showed this one a couple of times because it's got the blanket stitch on there. Love this. This is one of my favorite bags. And then, of course, I have this one, which is the um, turkey trot. So if you are, you have some, some really cool turkeys, if you're doing some th a Thanksgiving pattern, this is perfect for your Thanksgiving pattern. I have all of these on my website. And I also, this week, me and my friend Marianne and Cora worked together this week. And um, we put together this bag again. Now, this bag I had out maybe three years ago. So if you haven't seen this one, it is amazing. Look at this bag. This bag is so flippin' cool. Witchy and spooky and pretty. They are so pretty. So I'm just giving you a forewarning. You might not get the witch that has the full witch. But you know what? The witch to me looks like a tree. So then there's these really cool cats on there. Um, there's a branches. So then I decided to put the branches on the back. Um, I decided to do that. I think that was a really good idea. Um, Mary Ann actually came up with this. She's like, hey, what is this fabric? And she pulls it out of nowhere and there it is. I'm like, I have fabric to go with that. So that's when I got the witches out again. So here's another witch. Here's another one with the witch. Wait, so let's see if I can get it. no glare in it. This one, it's got the cool cats in it. Um, so if you want a certain one, I have black or gray zippers. They're really, really cool. And you know what? The way I look at it, if by chance you get one that doesn't have a, that has a witch that's cut off, hello, open it up. And guess what? You can see the full witch then. Okay. When you pull out your fabric and your stuff, then you'll see it. So what I usually do is I put my bag, I put my bag on my lap, and I stitch on my on my bag, so nothing gets um, lost in my lap or the cat doesn't drag it away. This way, then um, I can still see the inside of the bag. That one is called Wicked. So I don't have much of that fabric. Get it now. Somebody um, texted me and she's like, "Oh my God, I saw that on Instagram a few years ago." I never got a chance to get that, could never get that bag. And she was so excited she got the bag. So she was lucky. Then there's Snowman Gathering 4.0. This is um, this is uh, Lisa ben, ben Bonjean's, sorry, Lisa, Lisa Bonjean's fabric. This is her um, Snowman Gathering number four. How cool is that? 
I love this fabric. I love snowman. You know I love snowman. They have the gray, I have the gray zipper or the blue zipper. And I also have a pal to go with it. And I also have a white zipper. Has the pal to go with it. Now, uh, my Robin bag is on sale. This is a uh, Robin bag. This one's on sale. This is Teresa Kogut's, um fabric that was back in spring. So I still have this fabric. I still have this bag. So get that. And now I want to show you a brand new one. I only have 25 minutes left. And look at that, I'm all done. Oh my God, I, I, I'm. it's gonna be a short one today. Um, okay, so this one is, um, I wanna call this Mr. October. Look at how cool he is. She calls this one Bittersweet Farms. Um, and so did I, I called it Bittersweet Farm. I named it because I thought it was pretty. Here, I'm gonna do this so you guys can see and there's not too much glare. Uh, there is uh, Mr. October. I wanna call him Mr. October. Look at the pumpkin head. How cool is that? So these are out on my website right now. And uh, this is her new fabric. It's also the backing is a um, sunflower. How cool is this sunflower? I mean, my God, it's gorgeous. Just so pretty. Same thing. It has the vinyl in the front, the, um, the lo um, log tab zipper in the front. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I love everything about this. It is so pretty. And <clears throat> this is her new fabric, and I got a bunch of it. So hurry up and get on this bandwagon, because once it's gone, it's gone. I am not getting any more of the fabric. So I love this bag. Love, love, love it. You can put all of your, and she got this new pattern. Um, well, actually, it was a pattern that we did for um, Primitive Gathering. I should get that out again. Um, I did it for, we did it for Primitive Gathering, and um, she has this pattern out now. And it is so cool. I want to call him Mr. October so bad. I really do. So um, it is now at 26 minutes. Um, I'm going to babble a little bit more about being positive and not being so negative. And this is my happy place. You know, this is my happy place. My happy place is where I am. And I try to do things that are positive for me. And cross stitching and sewing and stitching is my positive place. And I'm surrounded by positive people who also like to stitch. And I try to stay away from um, people that have bad energy. And I, I go, okay, you know, I, I just, I can't look at you because I'm sorry, you have, you have energy that, that is not good. And so I try to stay around people who have good energy. You know who you are. You're my friends. I love every single one of you. And I love everybody who has bought bags from me. Um, I hope that my, my I hope that this bag and any other bag that you buy from me gives you um, a happy idea, happy, happy thoughts. It's not just taking out of a, zip, a Ziploc bag. Um, you know, it, you take it out of a bag, you take Take your stitching out of this bag and it'll make you smile. I mean, it makes me totally smile when I see this fabric and this bag. I just love it. So anyways, um, I love you guys. And thank you so much for buying my bags. It's 28 minutes now. Um, happy Sunday. And uh, let's see, what am I doing this week? Um, and join my stitch along. Join my my um, my stitch along with the um, Tiny Town. Join that, you know, um, come on my Facebook, post some pictures. Don't be afraid to post pictures. You know, I love pictures. Um, I want to see all of your uh, Olympic stuff. This was my Olympic stitching that I did. I'm really proud of it. I really, really like it. I'm just really, really proud of it. And uh, there's some other stuff coming up. It's September. Oh, my God, it's September. I know uh, I don't do samplers September, but I guess maybe... Um, uh, you know, that Blackbird one that I'm doing maybe could be, you know, a way, a way we ride could be a sampler. Um, I know that's not a sampler. It's not considered a sampler, but you know, ha happy September, happy sampler September, but we have one more week of August and I might have a, um, a clearance sale for summer. So just stay, um, stay tuned. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, like me, follow me, co comment on me. The more comments and the more likes I get, um, it comes into your feed faster so you can see the new bags that I have coming out. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything and have a great day. Happy Sunday.